At 9 o'clock, a lorry started from Town X and travelled towards Town Y at a speed of 55 km per hour for the whole journey. At 11 a.m., so again, you see that they have different start times. The car started from Town Y and travelled towards Town X, so it is opposite direction. Not only opposite direction, but the lorry has a hit start. Okay? The speed of the car remained the same until it passed the lorry at 1300 hours. So the two of them meet at 1300. So I'm going to draw out the distance diagram to represent that piece of information. So at first, the lorry had a head start of two hours already. That is what you must figure out. So it's a two hour head start. You multiply two hours by 55 km per hour. That is the distance of the head start that the lorry has. And then at this point, this will give you your distance travel at the point where it's 11, 0, 0. Okay, so this was 0, 0900 0, 0, starting from town X. At the same time, or not at the same time, but then we have the car, which is at town Y. traveling in the opposite direction. Now the two vehicles met at 1300. So we draw the point at which they meet at 1300. So because the car started, because the car started Later, the car has only traveled for two hours so far. You can tell from this time that this is two hours. And this part here is also two hours. Always remember that at the point of the vehicle's meeting, when they are in opposite direction traveling towards each other, the total distance traveled at the point of meeting, as you can tell from the diagram, is the distance from X to Y. Okay? Now, at this point, they tell you that the lorry had traveled five out of nine of the journey. Okay. So you see, fairly complicated question. Now, the first thing you should realize is that the car has traveled, the lorry has traveled, sorry, for four hours, as you can tell from the diagram. So the lorry took four out of nine the lorry in two hours traveled four out of nine of the journey. Right? Not in two hours, but in four hours to travel five out of nine of the journey. Wrote it wrongly. Which means what? If you look at the car, the car in two hours will have traveled the remaining four hour nine of journey. That's at the initial speed. That is what you must understand over here. And because we have the speed of the lorry, can we find the distance traveled by the lorry? We can. So distance traveled by the lorry in four hour, 55 km per hour times four hours to give you 220 kilometers. And you know that this is five out of nine. Which means you can now calculate the distance traveled by the car because you take 220, which is 5 units. So you divide by 5 and then you times 4. To 
to give you 176 km. So the car has traveled to this point in two hours, 176 km, while the lorry has to this point traveled 220 km. That is what we know. So after passing the lorry at one o'clock, the car decreases its speed by eight kilometer per hour. So obviously the first thing we need to find here is the speed of the car at first, which is 176 kilometers divided by two hours to give me 88. And then now they tell you that the speed of the car after passing decreased by 8 km. So 8, the 8 minus 8 to give me 80 km per hour. It traveled at a new speed for the remaining journey. What is the remaining journey? The remaining journey is here. It is the 220 that is traveled by the lorry. That is the distance that the car has not traveled, right? And so time taken by car, remaining journey, is simply distance, which is 220, divided by speed, which is 80. And you will find that that will give you 2 and 3 quarter of an hour. 2 and 3 quarter of an hour is equal to 2 hour and 45 minutes. And they ask you what time did the car reach. So the car, you can start from this 1300 hours, it will take another 2 hour 45 minutes. That will give you 15.45. Okay, your 1300 after 2 hour 45 minutes gives you 15.45 and that's the answer. All right. So it's a fairly complicated question, but you need to make sure you know how to solve it part by part, and that will allow you to find the answer.